Good morning, everybody. I'm about to go in to my Pilates class. It's 11 a.m., so we're having like a little bit of a late morning, but I'm super excited because this is actually going to be a new place that I'm trying today. And I found really good parking. Let's go in. my workout there were definitely so many moments where i was trembling and shaking on that reformer but nonetheless it was so so good i have this antimicrobial spray right here and i like to just spray it after workouts it's so refreshing okay so i came home and took a rinse because I'm gonna fully shower it later since I'm gonna go out again. I also kept the same hair and I'm just gonna touch it up because I honestly wasn't like dripping sweating. I just like got a little heated up in the body but I wasn't sweating too bad so I don't feel too gross. So I kept the hair and I'm liking this half up, half down. I haven't done it in a while and it's cute. Today is a really pretty day in SF, so we're gonna go out to eat. I'm gonna just go out with my parents. And obviously, since I'm in SoCal for the majority of the school year, I just try to spend as much time as I can with my family when I'm back home. Okay, I'm probably just gonna keep it super quick and simple because it's already one, and then we probably need to wait for a seat at the table. We're gonna try to leave like ASAP. I'm gonna use some glow screen, some blush. I'm like rushing. This is my go-to look when I'm rushing out the house. We're gonna go to the Tartine Manufactory. Tartine is like a really good bakery that sells super good croissants, breads. The Tartine Manufactory is where you can sit down and actually like eat some lunch food versus bakery desserts. So I want to take my parents there because I went the other night and it was just so cute and I wanted to go in the daytime. I love this freaking peri-peri color in the milky brown. It's like the perfect extension to my lip color. So freaking cute. Milky brown peri-peri. I feel like it looks exactly like my lip color except a little popped and better. Okay, this is the look. Literally just blush and lips. I'm also in my little Zara, um, what is this called again? A tube top corset vibe, I guess? It's denim. So cute, and then I'm wearing it with my motel rock black jeans, so we're gonna do a little denim on denim moment. Okay, I'm so hungry, I'm also so dehydrated.
spontaneously, we are actually gonna go to the spa now. We went home and did a little outfit change, brought our skincare with us so we can do it there. And we like to do this at least like once every summer for getting back into the new school year. It's about 4.45 right now. Also redid my press on thumb because it was cracked earlier. So excited. We are at Japantown right now and we are gonna eat Marfuku ramen. Ramen sounds so good right now and we're really treating ourselves today because we're still out and usually we just eat at home but we decided to just get some food after the spa. so tired but before i go to sleep i wanted to gua sha on my face i'm using the ceo glow face oil for this i did a seven day gua sha every day little challenge to see the effects of gua sha if i was consistent every day i wanted to just continue that habit so before i go to sleep i'm just gonna gua sha again and then i'm using the Satcha beauty gua sha Today was such a fun day. Not every day is like this where we always go out to eat or go to the spa, but my family really likes to work hard, play hard. And in the sense of play hard, we mean it as pampering ourselves, just spoiling our own selves because we know we work hard. I used to be so lazy to wash off, but after doing the seven day challenge, and I did make a video, so stay tuned for that if you wanna watch that. But after, doing it for seven days consistently. Like, I just fell in love with the routine. It's just so freaking relaxing. And it's like we give back to our skin with our skincare, but what about our little face muscles? Literally doing Gua Sha opens up my little face muscles so much and I just feel so freaking relaxed after. My favorite part is this one right here where I'm massaging the third eye. I'm craving something sweet right now because we didn't get any dessert after dinner. We just went straight home. I'm low-key craving some Thai tea. We have extra Thai tea leaves in the pantry, so I might go make some. I used to be so addicted, like quarantine at home in 2020. I would make Thai tea that ass like every single week and then make a whole batch for that week. So I would drink it like every single day, a cup every day. It does have to brew for a good amount of time though before you can drink it. So maybe I'll just make it to drink for tomorrow. But like I have time to make it, so why not? And I have all the ingredients. It's literally just like the tea leaves and then sugar and half and half. I also have condensed milk. Sometimes I don't like to use it because I already just sweeten it with sugar beforehand. Okay, that's basically it for my routine. I didn't really go by it step by step, but like at the end I like to go over my jawline once more. I feel like this is also so relaxing because whenever I do this, and same goes for when I do my skincare, like I'm so freaking present when I do my skincare and like just self-care stuff like this. I read something once where it was like the things you enjoy, you enjoy them because it brings you peace because you're so present while doing it. And it's always like in the back of my mind, like presentness. Okay, I don't know what I'm freaking rambling along about now, but let's go make some Thai tea. Okay, I finished making the Thai tea. I'm just gonna let it sit overnight and then I'll be ready in the morning. So cute. So it's actually the next morning and I'm about to end off this vlog, but I thought it would be a disservice to you guys if I didn't at least show you how the Thai tea looks like. 
I lied. I said that I wouldn't use condensed milk, but I'm actually going to use it. Do it a little bit like that. And then there's kind of still little bits of the tea leaves in here. So I'm going to use a strainer. I got a chunk of the condensed milk. Mmm. So freaking good though. Honestly, I love making vlogs. It's one of my favorite videos to make. If you want to see more of that, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video.